Before I begin the tutorial, I would like to welcome you to our fairly new community. This was made because a very small percentage of Puyo Puyo Tetris players actually enjoy Fusion, or play it at all for that matter. If you find yourself enjoying this game mode, or want to learn more about it, then you should head on over to our Discord called the PPT Fusion Nexus. Link is in the description. Before I show you how to play the game, let's talk about what the game actually is and the rules behind it. Fusion is a completely different game mode, and your knowledge of Puyo Puyo and Tetris alone would be pretty much useless. Knowing how to build high Puyo chains would be useless knowledge because the Tetraminos will move the Puyos out of order, and even pop a lot of them at a time if you are unlucky. Spinning your Tetraminos will also be impossible if there are Puyo in the way. There are some positive things about the game though, like the way it deals with nuisance, aka garbage. The Tetraminos will completely get rid of the nuisance that is under it when it falls, as shown here. And it uses the swap mode stalling mechanic, stating that the nuisance won't fall on you until you drop a piece that does nothing while you have no chain. This can allow for some pretty major comebacks. Now on to how to play the game. Fusion uses a form of chaining known as active chaining. Active chaining is when you pop Puyos or clear Tetraminos consistently, as shown in the example. Do you see that even though my chain ends at 5, I'm still able to continue? That's because I'm still popping Puyos and clearing Tetraminos immediately after my current chain is finished popping. The best way to begin practicing is to try and make as clean of a Tetris stack as possible. Because with Tetris, you are now two rows short on the sides. Plus, your ghost piece lands on the Puyos instead of where it will actually end up. A clean Tetris board is an important factor into becoming a Fusion Pro. One last tip before I end the tutorial. You can use the shape of your Tetramino to your advantage. I was able to continue the combo because when the Tetramino fell, it brought the Puyos together. That should be all you need to get you started, which brings the beginner fusion tutorial to a close. There'll be two more parts coming out in the near future for an intermediate tutorial and a grandmaster tutorial. If you found this helpful or found the game mode to be fun when practicing, be sure to head on over to our Discord. This is Sir Butzalot, signing out.